Species Spotlight, a new series where I'll talk about a specific species of snake. I'll use footage and photos I've taken over the years as I talk about the snake. The first snake of the series will be the black neck spitting cobra, Naja nigricollis. We'll start with taxonomy, then where they're found, general description, their habitat, their venom, their prey, and reproduction. If you end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Taxonomy. Taxonomy refers to the branch of science concerned with classifying organisms. The black neck spitting cobra is a species of a lapid within the genus Naja. The species name is Nigricollis. Naja nigricollis. Originally there were two subspecies as well, the black spitting cobra and the zebra spitting cobra, but they have been moved into their own species, Naja nigricincta and Naja nigricincta woody. So where is the black neck spitting cobra found? And this is a cobra species found in Africa throughout the sub-Saharan in the western, central, and eastern parts of southern Africa. Black neck spitting cobras can get quite large, up to seven feet. Generally though, they grow to around four to six feet. Their head is large due to their massive venom glands found on each side of their head. Depending on the area they're found, their color is variable. Some are black, pale gray, or even brownish. Many also possess a yellowish or even red pattern on the bottom of their hood, on the belly section. This species has been found to be active both diurnally or even nocturnally, and this is depending on the time of year as well as other factors. Being a cobra, they possess a hood which they spread out as defense to make themselves look larger. They also hiss, but the most amazing ability of the snake is their ability to spit venom. This is a defensive behavior and one of the only times we see snake venom used as defense, the other being the rink owls. Now let's talk about their habitat. Like many other cobra species, the black neck spitting cobra is highly adaptable. They inhabit areas such as desert regions, savanna, and cleared areas that were once forest, such as farmlands. They can even find their way into villages or small towns due to the prey availability in these areas. They're often found close by to rivers or streams. This snake will find abandoned termite mounds or holes created by rodents to hide or cool off during the heat of the day. One of their favorite places to hide, though, is tree trunks. Another thing about the snake is that they are great at climbing trees. Venom. Somewhat unusual compared to other lapids, the black neck spitting cobra's venom consists primarily of cytotoxins. Other venom components are present as well, such as neurotoxic and cardiotoxic properties. The purpose of venom in snakes is to capture prey. We are just collateral when accidents do occur. So when bites happen, the effects of the venom is necrosis around the bite area, hemorrhaging, and difficulty breathing. The mortality rate of this species when untreated is low, around 5 to 10 percent, but when a fatality does occur, it's usually due to paralysis of the diaphragm, so by asphyxiation. As mentioned, the most amazing thing is their ability to spit venom. Spitting cobra's teeth are modified to allow for this behavior. They use this as defense, aiming for the eyes of a potential predator. They're extremely accurate, too. And if not washed out, it can even cause permanent blindness. So what do these snakes eat? The snake feeds on a variety of prey. They'll eat eggs, lizards, fish, birds, small rodents, and even other snakes. However, they do fall prey to other animals, such as birds of prey, one of those being snake eagles, which migrate to Africa during wintertime. They also fall prey to other snakes as well. The reproduction. Like other species of cobra, the snake is oviparous, which means they lay eggs. 
Females will often lay anywhere between 8 to even 20 eggs. Once the eggs are laid, it takes about 60 to 70 days for them to hatch. And babies are completely independent right from birth. They go on their own separate ways, many of which fall victim to other predators. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing. I'll be back soon with some more videos. Big shout out to my channel members.